Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be talking about sports in England. Being from England myself, I am one of the few people, or maybe a lot of people, I know a lot of people I know only really like one or two sports. I like quite a lot of sports with our country involved and smaller teams. So, for example, in England we have cricket, football, rugby, and the list can just go on. There's tennis and badminton and hockey and so much more games, sports games that are played in England. But what I want to talk about is rugby because this can get confusing for other countries. Uh, we have two types of rugby which are completely different. We have rugby union and rugby league. And the main area where it can come into is where you're from. Um, England sort of has the great north and south divide. I'm from the south of England, so I was sort of brought into rugby union a few years ago from a friend of mine. Um, and there's the north of England, what has rugby league. And let's just say... The fans just don't get on. If there's a rugby union player and a rugby league player in one room, probably the rugby league player will be walking out and the rugby union will be brought out on a stretcher because them northern people are violent. I'm going to get a lot of hate for that, especially from one person, but I think I can get away with it. Um, basically, England and Australia, we both have the rugby union and rugby league, but I think Australia, you just call it football for rugby union because... Like America, you don't know that a football looks like this and a rugby ball looks like this. That is not an American football, that is what a rugby ball is. And my girlfriend is from uh, the area where rugby league is from. And when I started sort of talking to her a lot more and she told me that she was into rugby, I was like, hey, yeah, we got something in common. I like rugby, you like rugby. But she was rugby union at uh, league i'm rugby union and there was that tense moment but luckily she's not a hardcore rugby fan i wouldn't say i'm massively a hardcore rugby fan i've got a club i follow i follow the country but i sort of thought i was like i've never really watched a rugby league game all i've ever heard was the hate from people from rugby union support saying never watch rugby league rugby league is rubbish it's nothing compared to rugby union only watch Rugby Union. So I've watched a few games now. I've watched the uh, uh, Rugby League game from the UK and recently I watched the final of the RNL Australian Rugby League um, which the team that I sort of immediately followed as soon as I saw the lineup and the kits lost. So any... Um, I feel they're the Sharks. Was it the Sharks? I'll double check that, it'll come up here. But um, yeah, whatever the uh, Melbourne team was, I believe that's probably wrong. I, I only just finished watching the game. This is when I'm recording this video. It might come up a week later, but I've only just finished watching the game and then done the video. Um, so it was the Roosters versus Sharks, I believe. Oh, the Storms. Completely wrong, it was the Storms. I believe it was the something Roosters versus Melbourne Storms. One second. It was the Sydney Roosters versus the Melbourne Storms. And I started watching, uh, it was a nice decent time for us in England because it was in Australia. So it was on about 9.30 my time. So plenty of time to wake up. I wasn't waking up too early and be tired all day. But I sort of watched the intro to it, sort of get that build. I've not really watched a rugby league match fully and sort of paid attention to it. So I thought, let's watch the build up, get some information about it first. And watching them both, I was just like, okay, yeah, the uh, Melbourne uh, Shark, uh, Storms, they look quite good. Uh, I think they might be quite good. And then the match started and the commentators were just like, it's going to probably go down to extra time. It's that good. And it's probably because I decided to sort of give them that slight bit of following, not much because I know nothing about the teams or anything. I just thought, in my head, I'll just sort of silently go, yay, go uh, Storms. And they lost. Quite badly. 
I think they only got two tries in the whole game. But, uh, yeah, and I saw that's the first time I've actually watched Rugby League fully, the whole match. This was from start to finish, including extra time. By the way, Australia, you have some funny commercials. I don't know why, but Sky TV decided to throw a few in, even though we got nothing to do with you. Um, but, yeah, I sort of was watching it and was comparing it in my head to Rugby League, uh, Rugby Union even. I've watched a lot of Rugby Union. I've been to games. I've sort of followed them online. And in a way, I'm going to probably get a lot of hate from any Rugby Union supporter in England. I think Rugby League was better. It sort of was more smooth. The game went well. Um, I think I need to watch quite a few games really to get into it more. But that one game I've watched and sort of the half a game... Uh, beginning of the Rugby League season in the UK, I watched a game, uh, Huddersfield Giants versus someone else, I can't remember, it was the only one on TV at the time, and I don't know why I didn't watch all of it, I can't remember, it was quite a few months ago now, but Rugby League for me was sort of better, and I do want to sort of get into it a bit more, so I'll probably be looking online to the England uh, sort of when Rugby League is on, watch a few games, get to know the teams. Because one of the things I always have with sports is I follow who my friends follow. So for football, uh, I'm a Manchester City fan. Everyone's going to call me a glory hunter. I've been a Manchester City supporter for quite a few years now. So no, I didn't just start supporting them last season. I'll change my team at the end. I've been supporting Manchester City for a while. The only reason for that is because one of my friends from university decided to bring me to a Manchester City supporters group. I'd never really been into football before. I just sort of had a slight following. But a friend from university said, come along, you'll meet some people. It was miles away, this university, about 300 miles away from where I lived. So sort of introducing me that way, it was quite good. And yeah... I didn't stick with the university because problems, I'll probably go in a later video, but I sort of enjoyed it, enjoyed the atmosphere, there's people talking about the same thing. When you are brought into loads of people supporting teams, Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool, Tottenham, Manchester United, Manchester City, Crystal Palace, it's, you don't know what to go for, like my family isn't sporty, Um, my mum and dad don't like any sports so it's more of the people I know so I don't really look into the teams much it's more of I guess get pushed to one team from friends with rugby league uh, I don't even say with rugby union I am a Leicester Tiger supporter again I'm from London originally so I should be a Harlequins or a Saracens fan but the person who introduced me to Rugby Union was a Leicester Tigers fan, so automatically that's where I started going. He brought me through to a few meetings, he took me to a few matches, I really enjoyed it. I used to come home with no voice, it was a lot of shouting and a lot of fun. With Rugby League, however, I don't know many people who are die-hard fans. Um, My girlfriend's not really a fan, it's more of just a following, Um, but I want to sort of look at the teams, um, again, both England, Australia, don't know if South Africa have a rugby league or they're just rugby union, um, but it's looking at everyone, it's not just looking at that one team that you're being pushed to, it's looking at what do you prefer, what does the tactics like, it's not winning really, per se, like you want your team to win, but it's how well they perform at the end of the day sports people are performers and they want to give the crowd a good show it's not just oh we want to win all the time it's does the crowd enjoy it now I know people who have been supporters of football teams rugby teams cricket teams for many years and their team has been doing terribly ever since they supported them hi Fulham and it's sort of what team do you most feel comfortable with? And I think that's with any sport. If you sort of just getting into sports, if you're just getting into football, it's called football. Here's a football. Um, and not uh, 
like rugby or even American football. We really should have another name for that in England because America does it. We should too. But um, it's any sport. If you are just getting into a sport, if someone says about it and you think, oh, I'll check it out, look at all the teams. Don't just look at what your friend points you to. Don't just sit there and go, oh, he's a Saracens fan from rugby. I'm going to be a Saracens fan. Oh, he's a, uh, I don't really, a New England Patriot fan. I'm just going to go to New England Patriots. Look at the teams. Look at what you prefer. Look at the lineups. Some people have their favourite player and then they develop through that. I think when I was younger, I made the mistake of having favourite players for football. And this is when I wasn't a massive football supporter. Never really went to any games. And I, at the time, this was when Frank Lampard, John Terry, David Beckham were all playing. And a lot of the England players were from Chelsea. And my friends were Chelsea supporters. So... For about a year, I spoke about Chelsea and it just didn't last. And uh, ever since going to Manchester City, where I'm older and football's more of like adult conversation when you're a kid, it's, oh, ha ha, it's a football team I like, we're going to follow them till blah, blah, blah. When you're an adult, football is more involved in your life. It's what you talk to people about, it's what people can get encouraged by to sort of speak to someone. Um, that's one of the reasons why I really got into football was to sort of be able to talk to more people at my college originally and university. But it's work as well. You've always got something to talk about once a week or twice a week if there's a cup or the Champions League or something like that on. You've always got something to talk about. And even if it's not your team, you can like joke about someone else's team. But yeah, I didn't really want to make this video too long and it has gone on for a while. But sort of the sort of sports we've got in England and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and follow my channel and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.